Hi everybody, I'm Tony Catanzaro and welcome to the first edition of In the Kitchen with Tony Catanzaro. You know, a lot of you on Facebook wonder what I eat all day. You wonder how I live and what's going on. So, it's Sunday, October 3rd, 2010 and today I'm going to give you something really special. Today you are going to get an inside look of what I do and how I eat the entire day. So we're going to start with breakfast. So follow me and let's make some breakfast. It's very, very simple. We're going to make egg whites, oats, and strawberries. So first off, you want to get a frying pan, a regular skillet, about a you know eight to ten inch skillet. Put on a medium flame. That's what these numbers are for. So use the numbers, not too high, not too low. You get some eggs, regular eggs, nothing fancy. I think these are these are uh, these are large eggs. So we're gonna crack them. I'm gonna get about one cup. I eat about one cup of egg whites. I leave about two yolks as well. So I'm gonna start discarding them. Pretty easy as, as my pan heats up. Mm -hmm. Some people buy like eggology, egg whites, you know, but I really don't really like those. Uh, not that I want to down the product, but they might have some fillers and stuff in it. I like just regular eggs, and I also like to keep a couple of yolks as well. So they're pretty easy to crack once you get the hang of it. I mean, I've been doing it, I've been doing it for like the past uh, 20 years, so I got really good at cracking egg whites. But uh, it's pretty simple, so let's see how many we have here so far. I think that was about five. Now we're going to put two whole eggs now. Now, meantime, my pan is heating up. Now, all you need is a fork. I'm going to whisk these eggs with a fork. You don't need one of those whiskers. Or whatever you want to call them. Or you can whisk it over the sink if you want, in case you're afraid to spill something. Now here's the trick when making nice scrambled eggs. Some of you put it, your eggs into a pan that's not hot, and that's not a good thing. Or if you want to go healthy, you'll spray some Pam inside the frying pan, but I'm going to show you a little trick. Get the pan, wait for the pan to get hot. Now you'll know when the pan is hot because you'll put your hand over it and it'll feel, it'll feel kind of hot. Not burning hot, but it'll feel kind of hot. I'll take the frying pan off the flame, spray the pan in the pan. Not a lot, you don't need a hell of a lot, just a little bit. Now I'll add my eggs. Pan's ready. Now see what will happen is if I add the pan inside the frying pan and leave the flame on, the pan will burn, it will turn brown and that's a very, very bad thing because then when my eggs go in there, then my eggs are going to be brown and that's the worst thing you want. You don't want brown eggs. So I'll stay away from that. A little trick to make scrambled eggs is as soon as the eggs go in the pan, you want to start stirring it up right away. Now if you use a spoon or a spatula, it'll, the eggs will stick to the spatula or the spoon. A trick is to spray a little pan on the spatula or on the spoon. Once you get that, then you can start scrambling them up. You can actually turn the flame a little bit to a medium high now if you want, which it is. As you can see, the, the flame is very, very important. You don't want it hot, you don't want it not hot enough. Okay. You want to wash your eggs, you don't want to like leave, you know, you want to just keep cooking until they're ready. But since I'm a pro, <laughs> I'm going to get my oatmeal ready. It's instant oatmeal, so it doesn't take long. Quicker one minute oats. One minute, that's the ones I use. I mean, you can use steel cut, whatever you want, but this is the one I use because it's quick and easy. Get about a half a cup of oats. And all you have to do is add hot water. So we're going to add that in a second. It's looking really good. Okay, I'm gonna go add some hot water. Be back in one second. Just put some hot water into my oatmeal. So I have a hot water cooler downstairs. So there you go. Just a little bit of hot water. Start mixing it up and just let it sit. Continue with your eggs. Make sure that they don't burn. You can flip them at this point. 
They're looking really good. You want to lower the flame if you have to. And they are ready pretty much. So we'll shut the flame. You can have your eggs a little bit a little drier or a little bit more runny. Depends upon how you like them. I like them just like this, which is perfect. Remove them from the pan immediately. Don't let your eggs sit in the pan because they're going to continue to cook. Eggs do not take long to cook, so a hot pan is the worst thing for eggs to be in because <laughs> they'll continue to cook and be dry and horrible. So my eggs are already done. Now I'm not going to have anything with the eggs actually. Just a little bit of my favorite thing in the world, which is ketchup. So we're going to put some ketchup on it. <laughs> Ketchup is really healthy for you, so I use a little bit on my eggs. I love it. Okay. Now, let's zoom in a little closer over here for a second. Let me show you something. See how these oats are cooking? The hot water is actually cooking them as we speak. And as you stir it, it's getting more and more creamy, as you can see. I didn't add a lot of, I didn't add a lot of water, just enough water just to make it the consistency that I like. You can add a little more, a little less. You can also do this with hot milk if you like, or add a little bit of milk to, you know, to this. Now I'm going to get some strawberries. You get the strawberry. It's going to cut the heads off the strawberry. Rinse them over some cool hot water, cool or hot water, whatever you like. Slice them up, kind of chunky style. Slice them up, put them in the oatmeal, you can put as much as you want. Strawberries are excellent for you. Or you can use blueberries, blackberries, banana, whatever favorite fruit you like inside your oatmeal. And my friends, breakfast is served. Come on over. Now to complement, now to complement my oats and strawberries and my eggs and ketchup, which has got protein and you got some sodium in there, you got carbohydrates and you have simple carbohydrates, complex in the oats and simple in the uh, strawberries. I want to put a little bit of sugar in the raw in there. Now I know I always say stay away from sugar, but this is natural sugar and I'll use a little bit in the morning. Sugar in the raw. You buy it at, you know, at your standard grocery store. There's nothing really fancy about it. it. Comes from Hawaii, I believe, but real good stuff. And I'll sprinkle a little bit right on those cold strawberries. That's it. Remember, another thing that you definitely want to have in the morning, which is crucial, which is, should always be with your meals, is good old water. Well, that didn't take us very long, probably about five to ten minutes to make breakfast. Very, very simple. Hope you enjoy it, try it at home, and stay with me for the rest of the day because we got five more meals coming up. I'm Tony, and I'm in the kitchen. Ciao.